Yeah. And growing up, I'm, all I thought about was the NBA. Like, I never even knew overseas existed. Growing up, I never envisioned uh, playing overseas. Of course, you, you go on the basketball court and you dream about, you know, being a certain player. My thought process, right after I got in college, was getting drafted to, you know, to go to the WBA, WBA but that didn't work out. I wanted to play in the NBA, but it wasn't, it wasn't panning out like I thought it would. And then I got cut, the last cut, and then my agent, we discussed about what I want to do, and I decided to go overseas. My first impression was, what the hell are we doing? Culture shock is just, just different, different way of, of living. It's just a different lifestyle, and it's tough being over here. You know, I appreciated the guys that did it, but I, I didn't fully understand it. Many people don't know what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Not only you gotta put up, put up solid numbers, but you also have to win. I learned a lot of kind of like the type of player that I needed to be um, in order to be successful over here. If anything goes wrong, they, they're definitely gonna look at you first. I just wanted to keep playing basketball. Talent over here in Europe is growing. Uh, I know a few NBA players that came overseas and they, they, they didn't do as well as they thought that they, that they would do because the rules, the, the way that the game is played, the, the European philosophy. I definitely do not think all NBA players can succeed overseas. The guys who are on the bubble of the NBA or struggling to make it into the NBA and come overseas, don't think it's going to be a cakewalk where you're just going to be getting 30 or 40 every night because that's not going to happen. A lot, of, a lot of America's mindset is like, you know, they over here, but they really don't want to be over here. Um, the fans overseas are, are very passionate. I've seen fans throw things on the court, spit at players, throw water bottles. What it takes to be successful here is to feel happy for the living that you make it. So you must love the place, the food, the mentality, the culture, and the habits. And I love to see new things, and playing away is more of an adventure to me than as a job. My agent called me one time, I was like, yo, it's a job in Iraq, man, you know, pretty good money, you want to go? I'm like, no. My first year in Turkey, I did not have an apartment for the first two or three weeks. So we sacrificed so much to come over here, being away from our families, our loved ones, our friends our home, you know, it's, it's difficult. And uh, you have to be really, you know, strong-minded and mental, mentally tough to, to, to be away for so long. You know, I love it. I, I always wanted to travel even, you know, as I was a kid. I didn't know I was gonna be doing this much traveling, but I'm happy that, you know, this is the path God decided me to take. And, you know, I'm just gonna milk it as long as I can, you know, because when, when I'm done playing, there's no coming back from that. You know, you can be a musician, you can retire from music, but you can always come back because those are talents and skills that you can always use. Once you're done being an athlete, you know, five times kick in, you better make sure you take advantage of this great opportunity guy give you these talents to, you know, make the best of it while you're still young. Just